What's up guys and welcome to the 31st tutorial on my PHP backend. So in this tutorial I'm gonna keep um, keep on talking a little bit about authentication. <clears throat> so in the previous tutorial we looked into hashing and how that works and just to summarize hashing works like this you give it some some value you hash it and you always get the same gibberish output so the important thing is here is always the same output even though it looks random so uh, I also demonstrated this pseudocode of how you would go about checking if uh, the credentials they provided was the correct password so you have the plain text password that you get from the user input you also get the hashed password from the database and then you hash the uh, the plain text password and compare it with a hashed password from the database and if they are the same then they provided the, the right credentials and if not they're not logged in so <clears throat> this is the first naive implementation of uh, user hash hashing and this as you just say say state from start that this is actually so much better than just storing it uh, in plain text in the database uh, but there are still some issues within this implementation because if we look at the database, I've created a couple of new users and um, As you can see here, we also have the plain text password, which obviously sucks really hard But the problem is these guys here and I don't know if you see it, but they have the exact same password It's hashed. So you don't know what it is but What if you have a really big uh, list of common password that you've hashed then you uh, then this will mean uh, essentially that it could have might as well just been plain text so we have this problem what if you have a list of hashed common password and uh, that's that's one of the problems and also as I also demonstrated what if the users have the same password then you would get the same hash and this obviously is not a good thing because then you know that if you have the same hashed passwords as another user then you can also identify the other user's password because it's going to be the same as you have so you can have a, a really big word list also with like the common hashing algorithms and, and the hashes so in order to deal with this we can use something called salt and salt is just a random uh, text string and this is actually random so let's um, let's make a quick demonstration in here um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and so let's say that we have we have some kind of function to create a, uh, a random hash like this uh, this is actually not random but well, let's assume that this is random and you have two users. One of them uses this password, abc123, and the other one, 123, it uses the same password. So at this point, they will have the same, uh, they will have the same uh, hash, right? So what you do is you take the you take the random salt that you created, and the salt are different from different users, and you just concatenate it like on the end. So you you take the you take the password that they have and just put the salt in the end. And you hash it and then you get this which is going to be stored in uh, the password column and then obviously you also need to store the salt and uh, this is done on the re registration endpoint so you you create some kind of random salt that you just store in this column and then you hash the, the plain text password with the salt and then you store that in the uh, password column and uh, as you can see, this is the number uh, one user. It has this hash. And also, let's create for the other user. Let's create some other, some other salt. So like this. So you get another salt, and then you do the same thing here. You just add it to uh, to the end here, and hash it. So if you compare these two, you can now see that they have different, they have different hashed passwords even though they have the exact same login password abc123 so how would you use this then when they log in so with these users right here 
I have actually done exactly this. You can see that this guy right here and this guy right here, they have both the password and assault. And I've they actually have the password ABC123. So the procedure for this is uh, you copy the salt right here and you type ABC123 and then you add the salt to the end and you hash it and you check is this this hash right here uh, is I'm gonna paste it in here is this salt equal to uh, to this right here? And as you can see they are, they're exactly the same. And then you know, okay, this user is logged in with ABC123. And what about the other user? What about this user right here? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the salt. And I'm going to do the same thing. So A, B, C, one, two, three. Then I put the salt in there and I hash it. So I get this output. And I'm going to paste it in there. And also I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to put it here. So this is actually not the same. Let's see if I screwed up somewhere. I think I might have put, uh, oops. I think I might have put, uh, Hmm, let's see. All right, let's do let's do it from the beginning. So I take the uh, take the hashed password. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the salt. All right, so there was a white space in there. Um, that was something that you need to be careful with because otherwise you get a totally different um, output, obviously. So, but the important thing is here, these guys right here, this uh, user2 and this user1, they have the exact same password. But if you look at the database, there's nothing in here that at first sight reveals that these are actually the same. And this is the uh, one of the problems that Assault uh, solves. It solves this problem with them looking exactly the same. So if we want to write this down in pseudocode, there are different alternatives to this uh, where you can like run the hash multiple times with like hash, 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 and then you hash them, I don't know, uh, a couple of hundred or thousand times in order to, in order to make, uh, make nested hashes and stuff, but we're gonna, not going to focus on that. So in PHP, you know that you string concatenate with the dot. In many other programming languages, it's going to be plus. But, well, actually, you could use a plus here as well. It doesn't really matter. But just for the sake of consistency, we're going to use a dot. So in here, you take the salt. This is the only difference you do on uh, in, uh, in the login. And the order here doesn't really matter. You can use a plus, you can use a minus, you can use whatever you like. I suggest you concatenate it in one way or the other. So you can also reverse these, it doesn't really matter. You can also do like this. So you put the hash first and then put the... Uh, you, you take the salt first and then the user uh, password in plain text. It doesn't really matter. But what matters is the order you do this, it's going to need to be exactly the same order as you do when they register. So for obvious reasons you cannot switch like if they register and you put the password first and then the salt in, in the registration endpoint, you also need to do exactly the same thing when you check in the login endpoint because otherwise they won't be the same. If I take this and put it on the end instead, uh, it's going to give me some other totally different output, obviously. So be aware of that because that can be a little bit tricky the first time you, you try it out. 
So, all right, I hope you guys followed along in this tutorial. There, this is a really common topic, so there is plenty of material out there if you didn't get it or um, if you want to read up more on security stuff. Um, but this is the basics of it and, and the basic uh, issues and errors that you can run into. So, I hope you guys liked it and I see you in the next tutorial.